Hello and welcome to Evaluate This. In this session I want to have a look at NIC teaming, the business of grouping network cards together to make it behave like one network card or NIC. It's important because on the one hand uh, a network card could fail and then I've lost my connection to whatever it is I'm talking to and secondly we can often be hampered by network bandwidth so if we've got multiple NICs on modern servers wouldn't it be good if we can just treat that as one big fat pipe and we can put all our network traffic down there. In order to show you how it works, what I've got is actually a couple of USB NICs that you can just buy in PC World or anywhere. I'm just going to plug these guys in. And when I go into my network connections now, I can see I've got Belkin 1 and Ethernet 4. So how do I use them? How do I make a NIC team? Well, I just need to go into Server Manager. If I'm looking at my local server here, I can see that NIC teaming is disabled. I just need to click on the hyperlink and this dialog will appear. Now I can see those two NICs that I've just plugged in. Just highlight them, right click and add to a new team. I'll call it eval. Hit OK. It's just going to take a few seconds to reset. So don't be alarmed by the device error dialog box that comes up. That's normal. And now you can see I've got this team called eval with two gigabits per second connectivity out onto my switch. Now actually each of these NICs could be connected to different switches. If you want to just fiddle around with the properties of the team that you've just created, you just go to its properties here and bring down additional properties here. So teaming mode, switch independent, again does what it says on the tin. But some switches support something called LACP and if you've got switches that support that, then you should turn that on. I can change the load balancing mode, and this is how we define which packets go where. And there are two options here, hyper-v port and address hash. So we're taking a hash off the address, this packet goes this way, this packet goes that way. And do I want a standby adapter? You could have a hot standby as it were, but actually wouldn't it be better if we could just use all these NICs at once? So how do I use them? And actually the way I'm going to show you how to use them is to use them in hyper-v. If I go into my network switches again, you can now see I've created this thing called eval. You can also see I've got some virtual switches up here controlled by Hyper-V. They've got the V Ethernet um, prefix in front of them. So I've got two Hyper-V switches, CorpNet and StorageNet. If I now go across to Hyper-V itself and look at the um, virtual switch manager here, you can see CorpNet and StorageNet. StorageNet just being an internal only switch, CorpNet is bound to the onboard NIC on this laptop. Well, I can just change that to the new multiplexer driver that I appeared. And I'm sorry it doesn't show up as eval. You've got to remember that it's always going to be called that multiplexer driver when you select this. So I can just hit OK there now. And CorpNet and all the machines that are using CorpNet are now going to start communicating over my new team. What I can now do is go back to my NIC team again, my, my settings here. And because I've released that Broadcom NIC, it's no longer bound to my virtual switch. It shows up separately here. And what I'll be able to do now is I could um, select this team here, right click and add this to the team eval. And now I've got three NICs in my team from two different vendors. And that's an important distinction in NIC teaming in Windows Server 2012. We're able to bound disparate NICs together. So if you've got legacy hardware, you can use it. One thing to note is that you shouldn't team teams. So if you're using the teaming capabilities and software that come with your drivers, don't build a Microsoft Windows Server 2012 team on top of that team. So that's how we simply do NIC teaming in Windows Server 2012. If you want to download Windows Server 2012 Evaluation Edition and try it for yourselves, this is where you can get it from. I'm afraid we can't send you any NICs, but you should be able to find some old hardware around your organisation and hopefully test this out for yourself. And if you want to find out more from me, I'm Andrew Fryer, and this is my blog and my Twitter handle.